Hello everyone! Today we're going to talk about proving two triangles are congruent using SAS and ASA postulates. When do you say that two triangles are congruent? Remember the triangle congruence? Na discuss ko doon na ang two triangles ay congruent kapag same size and same shape. At pati na rin ang CPCTC. I-define natin ang CPCTC. Two triangles are congruent if their vertices can be paired so that corresponding sides are congruent and corresponding angles are also congruent. Yun yung corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. But how will you prove if the two triangles are congruent? Sa CPCTC, we have six pairs of corresponding parts that are congruent. Itong i-discuss ko sa inyo, ay tatlong pairs lang ang kailangan nating hanapin para ma-prove natin na two triangles are congruent. Ang gagamitin natin ay ang SAS congruence postulate and ASA congruence postulate. O, natatandaan nyo ba ito? Sige, define uli natin. SAS congruence postulate, if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding parts of another triangle, then they are congruent. What about the ASA congruence postulate? If two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding parts of another triangle, then they are congruent. So let's move on to our example number one. Meron tayong triangle na dinivide into two. So may marking siya ng right angles at may marking siya ng congruent sides. So let's have the given. Given is AB is congruent to YB. And then angle GBA and angle GBY are right angles. We have to prove that triangle A GAB is congruent to triangle GYB. What we are going to use in proving is a two-column proof. The first column is the statements and the second column is the reasons. Okay, let's start. Number one statement, AB is congruent to YB. So the reason is given. Then we have angle GBA and angle GBY are right angles. So ang reason, given then. Then number three, angle GBA is congruent to angle GBY. So ang reason, the right angle postulate. So ano ba yung right angle postulate? Since they are both right angles, they are congruent. Then in number 4, we have the same side. GB is congruent to GB. The reason is by reflexive property. Therefore, in number 5, triangle GAB is congruent to triangle GYB by SAS postulate. Ang dali lang mag-prove ano? Kasi simple proving pa lang ito. Example number 2 na tayo. So we have these two triangles. We have given angle N is congruent to angle L. C is the midpoint of NL. Then we have to prove that triangle NIC is congruent to triangle LOC. Again, our two column proof. We have the statement number 1. Angle N is congruent to angle L. The reason is given. Number 2, we have C is the midpoint of NL. The reason is also given. Then number 3, we have NC is congruent to LC. The reason is the definition of midpoint. Ano ba definition of midpoint? It is a point on the line segment that divides it into two equal parts. So congruent sila. Okay? Then number 4, we have angle NCI is congruent to angle LCO. The reason is vertical angle theorem. Ano naman ang vertical angle theorem? Vertical angles are congruent. Dito natin nagagamit yung mga pinag-aralan natin before sa mathematical system. And number five, the conclusion. Therefore, triangle NIC is congruent to triangle LOC. The reason is by ASA postulate. Madali lang, di ba? So, ito ang mga reminders ko. Ito ang kailangan ninyong tandaan para makapag-prove kayo ng mabilis at maayos. Remember the CPCTC. Remember the included angle and the included side. 
Remember the SAS and ASA postulate. And the last one, in writing a proof, the properties of equality and congruence, definitions, postulates, and theorems are used as basis for reasoning. Yan ang sinasabi ko sa inyo para meron kayong mga reasons na ilalagay. Kailangan alam nyo lahat yun. I just hope you learned something from my video. Okay? Till my next video.